everyone, Sherlock Phantom One here, and today we will be doing another trailer commentary. That it's been quite a while that I've been active on my channel. It's been really crazy, um, but I would like to thank you guys for helping me get to a hundred subscribers, which I really appreciate every single one of you for subscribing and taking the time to watch my content. But yeah, today we will be doing a trailer commentary about the movie Cruella from 2021, the live action one. And today I will be giving my thoughts and opinions as well as my uh, commentary and reaction. So let's just get right into it. Okay. From the very beginning, I realized I saw the world differently than everyone else. Mm-hmm. That lady I just walked right in front of the car. People. But I wasn't for everyone. Yeah. I guess they were always scared. That I'd be a psycho. <laughs> all right, that laugh kind of proves that all right. But a new day brings new opportunities. Bingo. I am woman. Hear me roar. <laughs> getting started though. Okay. The thing is, I'm bad. And a little bit mad. <laughs> Those dogs are so cute. I'm Cruella. No. Cruella. Okay, so my thoughts. Here's the thing. I know this movie's already come out, so people have probably made their um, opinions about it known and have already reviewed it and all that, but having not seen it, I'm going to throw my two cents in here of my concerns. One thing that I really find kind of worrying about this movie, I feel like Cruella has always been this really, like, devious and, you know evil kind of character that's kind of how she's portrayed in the disney animated version which is the one i used to watch i feel like the problem is i'm worried that they're going to try to make this character us feel bad for this character in such a way that it ignores everything else that she kind of stood for if that makes sense like you know feel bad for me because i was bullied and this is why i'm the way i am is because i was bullied or because my life sucked and things like that and i understand that those kind of things happen but that's not an excuse to do bad things or to have a mindset of doing bad things and that's kind of where i'm at is i'm not sure what they're going to do as far as that because originally her character wanted to skin dogs and make coats out of them that's that's just it. But now I feel like they want to add a layer of like, oh, she was misunderstood and she was, you know, trying to make it. And maybe she wasn't as terrible. And I get what they're maybe trying to do, but at the same time, I feel like it's kind of confusing with what her character was before. Because like I said, I feel like I can't really look at a character who wanted to skin dogs and be like, oh yeah, that character is just like this because they had a bad childhood or something. But I don't know, that's just kind of my thoughts as far as it, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you've seen the movie, let me know how it is. I mean, I probably won't see this movie just cause it's not really up my alley. I don't really like the new live action Disney remakes as much. I feel like you can't do as well as you can in animation is be vibrant with colors and movement. And you know, you can really, tell a story with that but with live action we're kind of limited in what we can do and the way we can move and you know tell a story a little bit i mean not to say that we can't tell a great story with live action because we have and things like that but let me know your opinion down below in the comments um let me know your thoughts on the movie did you love it did you hate it um but please respect my opinion as i was i would respect yours and uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you again for 100 subscribers. And thank you for sticking around. Bye, guys.